Hello everyone and welcome back to JB Subtle Gaming where today I'm taking a look at West of Loathing, a kind of odd game from the creators of Kingdom of Loathing from way back in the day, a old uh, online game you may remember for those of you uh, my age and older and whatnot. But this is a kind of odd game, but a simple game to review. It's an odd game in that it obviously is a black and white game. It's a game with a lot of dialogue like this, and uh, it's kind of a old school CRPG. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, these uh, RPGs that I'm talking about are like the old Fallout games, not like Fallout 3, Fallout 4, things like that, but the original Fallout and Fallout 2 games that had turn-based combat systems and then also a lot of dialogue options and a lot of different ways to possibly solve situations. So here we're seeing a little bit of the combat, and you see I have myself and an ally. Now the ally doesn't have a lot of abilities, but I have a lot of stuff. I have stuff at the bottom in my inventory, and then different skills I have at the top, and I have a certain number of skill points and things like that. And in a little bit we'll take a look at the character screen. And you can see you get experience like you did in a lot of these games for doing just about anything. Now if you're wondering why my character is walking the way they're walking, one of the things in the game is a silly walk option. But here you can see there's all different kinds of stuff. There's combat skills, stats, miscellaneous skills, there are all kinds of perks you can get. There are just all different kinds of crazy things and you can spend your experience you gain. See I have 399 unspent experience right now. And you can choose to level up different things and they have different experience costs to do. And there you can see some of the silly perks that I have, uh, combat skills that I've learned. I, I think I only started the game with one, but I can learn more through books. And here we're taking a look at my inventory. And there's a lot of stuff you get in this game, and some of it's kind of silly and joke and things like that. But you can see pretty easily what the different things do, and then there is also a pretty decent system with the icons up at the top that I'm clicking through that you can go through and look at your inventory and the different types and things like that. So for a game with a lot of inventory, some of it kind of joke inventory, but at the same time stuff that's kind of important, it has a pretty good system overall as far as keeping track of that. And other things, like for example, while you have a lot of stuff, food and drinks and things like that are actually important. One of the things you can upgrade also upgrades your stomach capacity as far as different things as how much you can drink or eat or things like that that give you passive bonuses as well. So a lot of the game is going to be dialogue and these choices and things like that. Maybe you'll get options based on certain abilities or stats that you have. So if you have a lot of Moxie, for example, you might be able to uh, pull off something you wouldn't normally be able to, or a lot of this or a lot of that. So much like these older games, even uh, prior to some of the games that we consider CRPGs today, games that really focused on having a lot of different and sometimes silly options as to how to do things. And this is a game that really does that well. While the art style, you may look at it and say there's really not that much to it, um, it, it, it actually, in my opinion, looks surprisingly good for being as simple as it is. The animations are done pretty well and they are amusing. And if you're going to like a game like this or not, it's going to be based on if you enjoy the sense of humor and obviously the combat and things like that. As far as the sense of humor goes, it's kind of out there. And the game does have some light puzzle elements to them. But uh, in general, it's a game where if you can think of something that would make sense in kind of a weird way, it'll probably work in the game. So they are using one of my special skills to shoot three times. And there are three different classes you can start the game as a kind of a, be a bean slinger, a snake oil. I'm trying to remember my, my character classes that are kind of based on snake abilities and I can make different potions that can uh, poison or heal or things like that. And then there's like a cow puncher class. The bean slinger or whatever it is is more of like a magic based and the cow puncher is more of like a straight up uh, physical combat base at least as far as I can tell so far. And I definitely leave the silly walk on. There's other options as well that you can unlock as you play the game. And overall, the you might think the dialogue is pretty simple. There's a lot of writing in this game. So if that bothers you, that may be something you don't really enjoy. There may be a little too much writing in the game. Uh, for some people to do a lot of reading, but in general, I found humor to be pretty amusing and have enjoyed different dialogue choices and the different things you come across as you're reading. It can be a little difficult to keep track of all of the different missions and the locations that you have to possibly go to, and this is one of those games where there is kind of an overworld map you can look at and travel to any location that you have unlocked at any point, but along the way you may come across random things as well. And some of these random things may also have choices like this. You might just find something, or you might come across a potential fight or a fight that you can avoid, or different things like that. Simple things along the road. Now I do want to say overall the combat isn't super complicated, but I think it's just in-depth enough to enjoy, especially because 
for a game that looks this simple, the character uh, system as far as leveling up in that is way more complex than you might think and more interesting. And you can certainly try to boost, like for example, I was saving up experience to get to the next level of my snake summon because I really like that ability. I also have a passive ability that whenever I poison, I poison for three times as much damage. I'm using a gun that doesn't have high damage, but it has high poison damage whenever it attacks and then it triples that. So you can get all kinds of cool combinations and you see my follower got taken out really quick there. But bear in mind, they're also, there are combats that are just going to be incredibly easy when you come across, and then there are going to be combats that are going to be incredibly difficult, and you're just going to get possibly one-shotted. Bear that in mind, too. The I, I enjoy the combat in this game, but it's kind of difficult to know when you're coming across a situation where you're just going to be overpowered, or a situation where you're, uh, you are going to be overpowering, or where it's going to be a more interesting fight. But there isn't too big of a penalty or anything to losing. Your guy gets more angry and then basically passes out for a day if that happens. I'm not really sure if that has any negative effect or not in the game. But overall, um, I, if you don't mind reading, if you kind of enjoy the goofy, silly humor of older CRPGs and the idea of ridiculous things maybe working to get you out of a situation based on your abilities and your ability to talk and things like that in silly walks, which I obviously enjoy. And there's a bunch of little things. Like you can see I can't harvest that thing because I don't have harvesting ability. And I actually, since recording this, have, have gotten that. But really, silly situations, a lot of silly stuff in text and dialogue. Um, some mostly light and, and not necessarily silly puzzles, but some puzzling as well. Then I actually highly recommend this game. Because here's the deal. It may not look amazing, but I think the look is enjoyable for what it is. I think the animations are well done, which help out a lot. If you're not interested in reading a lot of dialogue, stay away. If you're not interested in that kind of silly sense of humor, stay away. But if that's something you do enjoy, I'm just showing a little snippet. I'm actually purposely trying not to spoil a lot of stuff. There's a kind of silly, crazy, overarching story going on. But it's really about the moment-to-moment -moment fun coming across these things. And I've actually had a surprising amount of time, uh, a surprising amount of enjoyable time kind of building up my character and choosing which and you see I just did a ton of poison damage there because this is kind of like maybe boss enemy and you see they're poisoned for 45 because of that passability I have so you can try to min max characters make silly characters that try to talk their way out of every possible thing to talk the way out of and really I've just had a lot of fun with this game so obviously if you don't like the aesthetic if you don't like that kind of light turn-based combat you don't like puzzling and you don't like a lot of reading dialogue then stay away but if you're okay with all these things then for eleven dollars ten dollars whatever you get this game for then go get it it's a lot of silly fun and this is a pretty easy recommendation for me and it's one that basically I've just had a, a lot of fun playing and uh, you know don't get frustrated if you end up getting killed and yeah I take a look at some of the uh, some of the options you have in the game like a colorblind mode that does nothing or a nerd mode that gives you more stats and if you enjoy that or the best font mode obviously that we had to take a look at also and if that sort of thing sounds amusing to you then check out this game it's really in my opinion a lot of fun there we go nostalgia mode a lot of fun in the uh, relatively inexpensive package and while it's overall pretty simple it's a lot of fun and a little bit more deep than I expected with the uh, character building up as well. So thanks a lot for watching everybody and we'll talk to you again soon.